Hey there gamers, it's Ben from LHG. And this video has been a long time in the making because it's finally time for me to talk about The Witcher. As many of my friends are very tired of me telling them, The Witcher is kind of my favorite thing ever. I'm really into it. I got my Witcher medallions, both from the better than everyone thought it would be Netflix show and the Witcher medallion from the game. I got my Geralt Neandroid, his sword fell off. Look how cute this guy is. Winds howling, looks like rain. I even got a Witcher flask for when you wanna go out and hit the town, Kaer Morin style. The point is, I love the Witcher. I am on my second playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and its DLC. I'm currently a level 97 Witcher. Quen, baby. Quen. As a lot of you might know who follow the channel, I have a very extensive games library. Currently rocking 170 games on the old 8 terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna fill it up. But The Witcher 3 is still far and away my favorite game of all time, and there are a number of reasons that still holds true. And the first thing is that like Game of Thrones, The Witcher is based on a series of books written by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski. Uh, the books are great. I'm currently on the fifth book and loving it. Uh, and much like the Game of Thrones HBO series, the Netflix show itself was based on the books, the same way The Witcher 3 and The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, and The Witcher 1, something, hey, 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 it's The Witcher, were also based on the books. And I say this because lore. The amount of lore The Witcher draws on is absolutely mind-blowing, and that lore is everywhere you look in the game world. The reason I love it so much is because, unlike a lot of other RPGs, which are original creations, The Witcher has books and books and books of lore to draw upon, and the good people at CD Project Red just revel in the beauty of the writing and their own Polish culture, and the lore and the storytelling permeates every aspect of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And frankly, even though the game is now five years old, I still think it is up there with the most beautiful games available right now. Uh, on my PS4 Pro, it still sings. And I don't think you are in a position to disagree with the fact that The Witcher, The Witcher 3, probably still has the most beautiful sunset of any game you've ever seen. Find a, find a more beautiful sunset for me. Find a more whimsical sunset. And yes, I'm looking at you, Red Dead Redemption 2. You're picture perfect, but The Witcher is fairy tale magical. And The Witcher 3, the complete edition with the DLC, seems to always be on sale for $15. And I cannot understand why if you've never played The Witcher 3 and you're looking for a video game to fall in love with, you don't spend the $15 and get what is still far and away my favorite video game ever made. And I don't really see that changing anytime soon. So let's talk about what really makes The Witcher special. And I think any discussion of why The Witcher is so special has got to center around the character of Geralt. Geralt of Rivia is my favorite protagonist in any video game of all time. And there are a number of reasons I feel that way. He is a reluctant hero. Geralt of Rivia is kind of the John McClane of the video game world. He didn't ask for this situation. He doesn't even particularly like doing it, but he's gonna keep doing it to keep all of you idiots safe. Geralt is a professional monster hunter, a witcher. And the reason I love this is because Geralt doesn't have to kill these monsters. He's only doing it for the money. It's not like he particularly loves killing monsters. He's a working man. Geralt of Rivia is the working man's video game hero. And for us older gamers who are getting a little gray, I kind of wake up every morning and I'm like, God, I really don't want to do this for another day, but I have to. And as a comedian, a lot of times, I don't really feel like going to the comedy club and making all of you people laugh. But you need me to make you laugh so you can bring meaning to your empty little lives. And God damn it, that's what I was put here to do. Geralt is the kind of hero that I really identify. He's super duper stoic, but he's also super duper sensitive. <laughs> Geralt is a remarkably sensitive, badass hero. You can actually hurt his feelings. And the funny part is, is because of the trial of the grasses, he's not supposed to have any feelings, but he definitely has feelings. Now, a lot of the people who have done videos on The Witcher, and trust me, I've watched all of them, will mention that one of the defining features of The Witcher 3 is the proliferation of side quests. The side quests 
are as amazing as the main storyline. But I would like to point out something that I haven't really seen someone mention. The thing I love most about The Witcher 3 in terms of presentation is how cinematic the game is from start to finish. Unlike almost every other game, basically every cutscene in The Witcher is animated. The camera moves. They placed the camera and moved it in a cinematic way for damn near every conversational interaction you will find in the game. And you just don't see this in a lot of AAA titles. Even titles like Horizon Zero Dawn, which I loved, all of the dialogue was shot, reverse shot, back and forth and back and forth, and the camera stayed steady. Even more recent games like The Outer Worlds, which I also loved, has the Fallout New Vegas smash zoom into someone and just stand on them right there. And that gets really tedious after a while when a lot of the game is just whoo, talking head, talking head. Not so with The Witcher. Every interaction you have, from main storyline to town folk whose baby got eaten by a dingo, the camera is sweeping and moving because the people who made the game knew that these characters were worthy of a movie. And they were going to make a movie out of every interaction that they had with them. I love open world games. They're my favorite genre. And my favorite thing to do in open world games is open up the big ass map, pick a place way the hell over there, and then get there. Because the act of discovery is something I love to do along the way. And The Witcher offers such a wide range of locations to discover. From the stormy mountains of Skellige, to the beautiful medieval architecture of Novigrad, to the dirty ass swamps of Velen, to the rolling French countryside of Toussaint. There is such a wide variety of places to explore in The Witcher, and each one of those places is chock full of things to do and quests to go on. Really, adventure awaits around every corner, and the whole time you get to do it with Geralt, who is really just trying to make enough money to get through the night, get a hotel room, maybe get some loving for the evening, and just keep the people around him safe. And the next thing I love about The Witcher that you don't see in a lot of video games is that it's really the story of a, a family. A family not of people blood related, but a family of outcasts. And the only thing they can do to get through this crazy world of persecution from every angle and that family dynamic is, is there throughout the entire game. In fact, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is really Geralt trying to find Ciri because of the grave danger that she is in. And man, some of the moments in that game just got me so emotional. I actually cried a couple times during the game, and you will too, if you just spend the 15 freaking dollars you can get the whole experience for and dive in. And the music in the game, oh my god! I have at least seven tracks from The Witcher's original soundtrack that's both from the base game and the DLCs that are in my heavy rotation of just atmospheric music I use to get pumped up. The music in this game is still my favorite scoring of any video game. It's native Polish inspired music and it gets so melodic and emotional and action packed at times. And DLC, ask any video game purist who's played it and The Witcher still has the best DLC of any game I've played. Hearts of Stone, the first expansion, it's probably some of, if not the best writing I've ever seen in just a self-contained tale. That's 10 hours and then Blood and Wine, holy God, could have been the Witcher 4. It's set in Toussaint in a whole new world, a whole 30 hours of new story to play through, and it's the, a beautiful love letter to Geralt and a send-off to all the characters you've come to know and love. It's just perfect. I could go on and on about The Witcher 3, and I'm sure I will when another one of my poor friends comes over and we get into it, and I go on the same rant about why The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is my favorite, and probably will be favorite video game of all time. But we don't have time for this. My hope is that I have inspired you to really give The Witcher a shot. To just get the game and the DLC, know that you are in for hundreds of hours, if you so choose, of absolutely rewarding gameplay. And you know what? I'll leave you with a little story. About three years ago, when I first got The Witcher, I got into it and I got hooked hard. One day, I got a call that a TV show that I had written for the pilot on was a go. And then in one week's time, I was going to enter into a full-time job. And at that moment, I made the conscious decision to spend seven straight days doing nothing but playing The Witcher. And I don't mean like I'd play The Witcher for a couple hours. I mean, I pulled my couch into the bed. I closed the curtains. I would only get takeout. I would sleep in the living room. 
The second I would wake up, I would boot up The Witcher, and for roughly my 14, 15 hours of awake time, all I would do was play The Witcher, and it may be the best week of my entire life. There are a couple competitors, but not many. The point is, they simply don't make games that are based on novels that have had time to grow and mature much at all. And when they do, they aren't made with the love and the care and the storytelling and the characters and the realization at every angle of The Witcher. So if you're watching this and you've not played The Witcher, I implore you, go grab it. It'll be the best decision you ever made. So thanks for watching my extended rant on The Witcher 3 and why if you haven't played it, you're a dum-dum. This is Ben Morrison for LH Gaming. Thank you so much for watching the content. There's so much good content on the way. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more video essays, plus so much more coming soon. Until then, I'm going to go find Roach and kill a, a drowner. When you cut their heads off, just they fly. Blood. Pfft.